Narcissists are worthless. They're worthless. They have no real value or use. They have no good qualities. Because any good qualities that they might otherwise have are outweighed by the fact that they're just going to use and destroy you. So they're completely useless. And if you've been around them long enough, a lot of you may start to think that you're no different to them. Or that you're becoming just like them. Because it's an infectious disease, it spreads. It contaminates everything that is around it. And then you get pulled into it as well. But every flower must grow through dirt. It doesn't mean that you have to identify with these types of people. You may have developed some narcissistic fleas. But it doesn't have to define you. Which is why you need to recognize the clear differences between us and them. And although I'm definitely not a fan of an us versus them mentality, the reality is that they are your enemy, your adversary. And having any other way of thinking when you're around them will only get you used and abused. It's not going to result in anything good or mutually beneficial. Because narcissists are all about themselves. They have a mental disorder. They never got their emotional needs met when they were children. So now they just want to kill you. They want to make your life hell. And that's all they're ever going to do. You can't love them better. It's far too late for them. And again, I'm probably the last person to think that we should have to give up on anyone. But just look at their track record. Look at how much they've achieved over the last few years. And then just look at their failures. Look at everything they've done wrong. Look at how much you've lost. And then that should reveal to you that they are beyond hope. There is no chance of any improvement. There's not going to be a sudden change of mind. There's not going to be an afterthought or reconsideration. They're not going to rethink any choices that they have previously made. Because that would mean that they would have to take accountability. And then they would have to compensate for their faults and deficiencies. When they can't afford to do that. They don't have the mental, emotional or even physical means. They can't meet the expense. So the only thing they can do is continue along their path. There is no other alternative. They don't have any other choice. They have zero potential. They have no qualities or abilities that would be sufficient enough to be developed or to lead to future success or usefulness. This is as good as it gets with them. They're never going to be on your level. They're never going to be able to match the energy and value that you're putting out. And that you've been putting out since you got involved with them. There is no hope. It is a hopeless situation. They are destined to fail and it's like it was preordained. This is their fate and there is no going back. Which is how you should recognize that you had no business dealing with them. You should never have been involved with them to begin with. And I've realized this not only from my own experience with them. 
but also from speaking with many of you who have been involved with narcissists. It is clear that you never belonged around these types of people. And what really reveals this to be true is how much you lost in the process of trying to make something happen with them. You lost your health and happiness, your energy and vitality. It affected you mentally, emotionally, physically and even financially. It altered your natural course of existence in a negative way because you were never meant to be around them to begin with. Many of you had a sheltered upbringing. You were protected. You experienced very little danger or excitement. And although at times you may have felt loved and cared for, which of course was very different to the narcissist's upbringing, and it may have caused you to learn and develop the correct qualities and virtues for a higher quality of life, but even this dynamic was unhealthy because it prevented you from experiencing life and learning to cope with problems and misfortunes and these very qualities and virtues that you learned are also what made you a target for these predatory narcissists because that's what they're looking for that's how they get in although they're not really about it because they don't share the same values or beliefs as you do. But they recognize that you're good and that you're different. They can see it from a mile away and that is what draws them to you because they see your love and kindness as a weakness. In their minds that makes you a fool as someone who they can exploit and take advantage of but they already know that they don't belong with you. They know that they're immoral and corrupt. They're criminals. If you could go into a prison and witness what real criminals are like, you would see that they are no different. They all lack morals and virtues. They all lack discipline and self-control. They're self-absorbed and they lack empathy, but they're also very arrogant and entitled. So in their minds, there's really nothing they can't do. There's no boundaries. There's no limits or restrictions. There's no fair exchange. They're just takers or users. They're opportunists and they will take advantage of any opportunity that arises. They're not going to hold back just because you feel uncomfortable. Which is why many of them are liars, thieves, rapists, child molesters and even murderers. They really have no limits. And just because they haven't been convicted, that doesn't change anything. That doesn't make them any less harmful or dangerous. That doesn't mean that they belong on our streets. The only reason why they're able to walk around just like anyone else is because many police officers, judges, lawyers, and even government officials are narcissists as well. They're all corrupt. They're all criminals. So they're able to find common ground with these types of people. It's almost like they admire and respect them. They look up to how they're able to exploit and gain an advantage over what they deem to be weaker or inferior people. And many of them are sadists. When a normal person would pull back, these predators will strive forward because they find pleasure in other people's pain and discomfort. They get off on causing physical, mental and emotional pain to the victims or targets. It makes them feel powerful if they can affect you financially. And they even enjoy subjecting people to unwanted or improper sexual advances or activity, which makes them very damaging and destructive especially when they have enablers and flying monkeys. Because many of them are also voyeurs and exhibitionists. 
They love showing off and seeking attention from their degenerative behaviors. They broadcast it. They put on a show without any thought or care for the effects that it might have on other people, including children. Or they may in fact find pleasure in that as well. As long as people's eyes are on them, as long as they're the instigator or the star of the show. And a lot of them enjoy what we might deem to be unwanted attention as well. They get off in it. They love people's reactions. It makes them feel alive. It makes them feel powerful. Because they're disordered, they have a mental illness. They're not operating or functioning in the correct way. And it's not that they're late bloomers. They're not suddenly going to have this epiphany and change for the better. They are stuck in this way of life. There's not going to be any consistent positive changes. And you should be able to recognize this by just observing the company that they choose to keep. They surround themselves with other like-minded people. Criminals. Whether they're convicted or not, it doesn't really matter. It shouldn't take a conviction for us to recognize that these people are immoral and corrupt. And in fact, many of them are able to evade the consequences of their actions by befriending law enforcement or judges. They've learned how to use the system to their advantage so that they can continue to inflict injury and harm onto other people. And they see it as though all of this brings them power. They recognize that these people are criminals, but they don't care. Because they would rather that than for these people to be on the opposing side. They recognize that these people are dangerous. And that they could destroy them if they ever had the opportunity. So they befriend the bad and the fake people. They prefer to keep these people around them. And they will even use them to target good, innocent people. While acting as though they're perfect and free from fault and you're the problem. Even though they're the ones coming after you. Because they already know the truth. They know that they're no good. And they know that everyone they associate with is bad as well. But they're not really concerned about that unless it affects their image. Because all they care about is power and control. None of the people in their network are good. If they were good, they would have left a long time ago. They are all exactly the same. They're all predators. They're all dysfunctional. And some of them may even be convicted criminals. Although I don't want to put too much significance on that. As some victims may have been convicted as well. As narcissists know how to use the system to their advantage. But the point is that you can recognize it in their behaviors. It's maladaptive. They lack discipline and control. It's a clear pattern of behavior. It's self-serving. It's damaging and destructive. And it's because they didn't get their emotional needs met when they were children. They were abused or neglected. They grew up thinking life is unfair or as though they weren't good enough. So they created a false character to protect them. They abandon their true identity, so they have no inner sense of value or power. They have to manipulate and deceive people. They have to cheat, lie and steal. They have to destroy people to get their emotional needs met. So that they can feel alive. So that they can feel like they exist. They're energy vampires, leeches, bottom feeders, whatever you want to call them. They're just the scum of the earth. The worst type of people that can be imagined. And if there's one thing that they really despise, it's anyone who is not like them. 
anyone who actually has their life together anyone who has a sense of organization stability and control over their life anyone who knows where they're going anyone who lives their life in a responsible and a mature way anyone who is financially stable and independent they can't stand people like that they hate and envy them because their life was never like that they grew up in misfortune and some of us may have as well but we may have used that to our advantage we may have self-loathed at times but we also used it to propel us to our success these individuals don't do that they blame the world they take it out on other people because a lot of them don't even have the tools to make something happen and they know it So by default, all they can do is cheat, lie, and deceive. They can only use and abuse people to get their needs met. There is no other alternative for them. So they will use all possible means to gain power because all they care about is themselves. There's no genuine responsibility for or connection to other people. It's just all about them because they're emotionally deficient. They have an inability to regulate themselves. They're like children in adult bodies. They never developed. But they target people who have experienced trauma as well. People who are connected to their inner child. And may often fall back on that when they're experiencing pain or distress. People who are innocent, honest, trusting, simple and naive. Because narcissists are predators. They're criminals. They're rapists. Child molesters, murderers and thieves. So they have to target people who are unsuspecting or trusting. People who have this sense of innocence and purity. This lack of damage or corruption. Because they can use those types of people to their advantage even though they already know that they're not meant to be around them which is why they can only be around you for a short period of time but it's actually very triggering for them it reminds them that they're toxic and dysfunctional unless they can mirror your virtues and ideals unless they can fool you into thinking that they're just like you because otherwise it's just going to bring up their shame and then they may become passive aggressive or even physically violent because unless they can find a way to blend in, they don't want to be around it. It hurts them. They don't want to be subjected to that. Because that would destroy the illusion. And then they would lose their minds. And then you would see just how dysfunctional they really are. Because the target and the illusion are the only things that are keeping them together. Without that they would immediately fall apart. But they may be able to keep it together for a certain amount of time if they believe that they can bring it back. They find power in hope and expectation. Although it doesn't last for long. But one thing they don't want is for you to move on and find someone with the same energy that you possess because that would just destroy everything. Being around someone who is innocent or vulnerable is what truly amplifies and exposes our true character. It reveals who you really are. When you have the ability to exploit an innocent or unsuspecting person and you know that no one will ever find out or that you can get away with it. In that moment, that is who you really are. And it is a test of your character. Which is why if you do manage to move on and find someone who is like-minded and similar to yourself, that is when you will see the real person beneath the mask. All hell will break loose. And they will do everything in their power to separate you or to destroy both of you together because it's just that innocence 
that purity. They just can't be around it or even witness it. It reveals to them that they're fake and that their entire life was a lie because they can't experience that. They can't share that experience with anyone. They have to fake it. They have to manipulate. They can't just be themselves. Which is why they prefer to surround themselves with other fake degenerative people. It makes them feel more comfortable. It tells them that they're not alone on their conquests or endeavors. It makes them feel sane and normal. But for them to bond with other like-minded people, it has to be over someone else's expense. They have to bond over their target's destruction because they can only feed off negativity. It's like the glue that keeps them together. Narcissists are worthless people. They recognize that you are the prize. This shiny toy, this glimmer of light. So they have to chase you and hunt you down for their own pleasure and enjoyment. Even though they already know that they don't belong around you. But they see your energy. They see your light. They see that you're this living thing. You're full of life. And they're like these zombies. They feed on the living and in the process they end up destroying you. And it's also because they're deeply envious of you. That light and love reflects back to them that they're dead inside. Which is how you should know that they have nothing to bring to you. They seek power and control over their targets because they lack innocence, purity and good energy. They're not connected to their souls. They may not even have a soul. It's all their ego and their emotions. They're not connected to source which is why they need sources of supply. So don't fall for the game. And recognize that you shouldn't even desire to be around these types of people. They are dangerous. They are criminals. They mean you no know well. They will trick and deceive you only because they want something from you. And once they get it, they will make you believe that you're undeserving because that's how they keep you around. When the reality is that they target people who are more deserving than anyone else. That's how they got your attention in the first place because you already knew that you were deserving of more. But once you start to catch on and you realize that you're greater than them and you don't belong with them, that is when they will begin to play down your worth, even though you could have given more to them than they had ever given to anyone in their entire lives. They will still play it down and act like it's nothing. They will try to pull you away from anything you think that you are, because they don't want you to realize that you are not on the same level, you're of a much higher caliber. You're in a completely different class. You're of a much higher quality. Because of your mental capacity and moral qualities, your degree of competence. You have the ability to do things successfully and efficiently. You can pull things out of thin air. You can produce something out of nothing. Things that no one ever thought of before. You're inventive and creative. You're a genius compared to these people. You possess exceptional intellectual creative power and natural ability. You have exceptional intelligence and skill and they know it. Which is why they have to mock you or play it down. Because they can't stand it. Deep down they already know that they're worthless. They just don't want to accept it. Because that would put them back. And then you would have power over them. 
or you just wouldn't want anything to do with them because you'd realize they're no good you'd realize that you have nothing in common you're not alike in any shape or form you have a completely different way of life a different way of living and you should never have been anywhere near each other to begin with because you were meant for something different you were meant for something better and that's how they got in they tricked you they led you astray they put you in this trance where they thought they had something you needed or something that you were missing as though you were about the same things because you didn't realize that you were dealing with a predator someone who was just stringing you along they were just looking to feast on everything that you had worked so hard to establish which was the result of the years of hard work that it took for your parents to raise you and to make you the person that you are today they wanted to benefit from that because their upbringing was very different they were raised differently they had a completely different background and your parents did not spend all of that time raising you just so you can fall into the arms of a predator someone who is just looking to use and abuse you someone who doesn't even see the real you you went through all of those stages in your life so that you could eventually find someone who is at the same level someone who will value and respect you someone who can reciprocate the same qualities back to you and I came to this awareness from my own experiences in my life I realized that I never belonged around these types of people I was in private school my entire life I had speech lessons when I was a child I used to go horse riding every week I played a lot of sports I taught myself how to play the piano and all of these things made me the person that I am today I can recognize these narcissists from a mile away I know exactly what they're about and I know that I'm different I'm just a different class of person and I'm not saying this to put anyone down but to show you that we are in the same boat we have experienced the same difficult circumstances and yet we grew up in similar environments where we learned how to become a complete person we learned how to communicate and how to understand other people's ideas and perspectives because we learned to have empathy we were disciplined we were taught right from wrong we were taught to have boundaries and to value and respect not only our own privacy but other people's as well so we learned healthy coping strategies for whenever we experience anxiety or stress it may not have been perfect but we learned all of these things and it made us a complete person someone of a completely different caliber and social class to these narcissists because they're very unsophisticated and we never enjoyed partaking in their presence it was always a very uncomfortable experience for us unless they were displaying the false character and giving us their lies or future faking that was the only thing that ever kept us around when we actually believed that they were about something for real but when you take a step back and you actually look at what you're dealing with you can see that they've never been loved or cared for you can tell that they've been neglected their entire lives no one probably even noticed them before we got involved with them and that is the sad reality for a lot of them they're nobodies they're of no importance or authority they should not hold a position of power over you or anyone else because they're only going to lead you to your detriment 
but yet they see you glowing, sparkling and shining. They see your light. They see that you look good. You smell good. You dress well. You're a clean and tidy person. You're well groomed. You take good care of yourself mentally and emotionally. And when they see that, they already know they don't belong anywhere near you because they don't take good care of themselves. So they already know that they have nothing in common with you. Which means that there is no reason for them to be around you to begin with. But they persist. Because they're envious and jealous. They're full of hate. Because a lot of them actually want to be you. They probably put on your clothes and walk around like you if they could. They wish they looked so vibrant and clean. They wish they live a good life like you do. But they don't and they never will so they're mad. And now they want to make you just like them. They want to stamp out your light because it hurts them. It reminds them that they're nothing and nobody. And they're never going to be anything substantial. And they can't stand it because they know where they come from. They know where they belong. They know the environment that they were raised in. And there was nothing of value in that arrangement. It's like they just grew up out of a pot of dirt and grime. But they didn't turn into a beautiful flower like you did. They're like weeds. They're undesirable. They're not wanted. Because they're very messy. They're untidy and dirty. They're difficult to deal with. They're disordered and chaotic. Because they never had any order or discipline in their life. While you knew your role. You had a purpose. You knew what you needed to do. And I'm not saying that your life was perfect. It may have been dysfunctional as well. Your parents could have been narcissists. But you had what you needed to get you through. You had the tools. You had the drive and ambition. But they never had that. They lacked the proper planning and arrangement towards a long-term goal. They never worked towards anything. So they never had anything to lose to begin with. Which is why it was so easy for them to throw it all away. Because it was just an illusion, a false image, a disguise. They weren't about that for real like you were. Which is why they think life is so unfair to them. They feel like they were cheated. They were robbed of their life. And now they want you to develop this mentality. They want you to feel how they feel. They want to mislead you and pull you onto their ship. Just so they can drown you along with them. And then they can feel better about themselves. Because remember these people don't have anything to lose. They don't mind going down with you. They will take themselves out if they think that it will get to you. And once you get involved with them you get caught up in all this degenerative garbage. Because they make you think that it's cool, it's a good idea. It's something that you should decide to be involved in. When the truth is that it just ruins your life. It destroys your character and reputation. It makes you look bad. Because once they drag you into it, they will be spreading rumors and gossip. Anything to undermine you. Anything that gives them the opportunity to humiliate and make fun of you. Because they just can't stand you. And nothing brings them more joy than to destroy a high caliber person's reputation. Something that they will never be or amount to. Because they already know that they're nothing like you. Even if they had a thousand lifetimes. They wouldn't achieve even a fraction of everything you set out to be. Which is why they find so much joy in bringing you down to their level. Especially when they could be the instigator or the one who caused it to happen. Because they already know exactly who and what they are. 
and they fear that you will come to this conclusion that you never belonged around them to begin with you were so much greater until you got around them they ruined you they alienated you they publicly humiliated and shamed you into doing things that are beneath you and then they stood back and pointed the finger at you as though that's who you are when you were never like that to begin with but this is how you should already know what they are because they already know they know that you shouldn't even desire to be around them they know that you shouldn't even be trying to get involved with them because you're not like them you're different you're greater and any time you come around them it just reminds them that they're nothing which is why they have to pull the rug out from underneath you because you are a classy person who has values and high standards you have something you have a lot of things you had a lot of things which gave them something to work with because they can't pull that off with someone who has nothing who is nothing that just wouldn't work it wouldn't have the same effect so it had to be you that's why they targeted you because you are special you had something for them to take something that most people simply do not have or possess you have value you have power you're a complete person so there is something for them to destroy there's no joy in them destroying something that isn't anything or isn't going to be anything there's no fun in that for them they have to pick someone who has something someone who is powerful and special someone who is far greater than them and then bring them down and make them think that they're nothing because that's what they are and it creates a distraction it makes them feel like there's something now because now they get to use and destroy you when before that they probably couldn't even manage their own lives but now they get to be around you this powerful person just imagine how that makes them feel but they don't belong around you they're worthless they're garbage they have nothing to offer anyone other than lies and stories fictional tales but you will never see anything of value manifest into reality which is why at some point they will always end up abusing you and turning against you because that's the only thing they can do they're not going to magically sprout their wings and learn to fly they can only do what they can do they can only give what they can give they're powerless and helpless they're very small they're insignificant in comparison to you but they are very hungry and needy so to deal with them you have to give them something just reflect back to them what they want to see even if it's just for a moment act a little bit crazy but in a controlled way and be aware that they may try to record you on their phone or use it against you but just give them something lower yourself so that they can feel comfortable and then when they're not around you can return back to maintaining your high moral standards of discipline and self-control because yes they notice your character and your way of life they see that you are a disciplined person with qualities values and virtues which is why the idea of a punishment is to take that away from you to break that down to destroy it 
because they already know who you are. And they had to pick someone like you. Because otherwise it wouldn't work. It's no fun for them to target someone who already lacks discipline and self-control. Someone who already lacks qualities, values and virtues. How could they punish or destroy someone like that? They would have to give them something first before they could even take something away. But when they come around you, all they do is take and destroy because you have a lot to give. And let that be a reminder to you. Any time that they try to take anything from you or destroy you, let it remind you of your power and ability. Because it's why their punishment is always to break you down. They can't build you up. You're already far greater than them. So there's nothing they can bring to replenish what you've already given to them. They would be fighting an impossible battle that they would never win because they can't operate on your level. They can't work with you, which is why all they can do is hate and despise you. And sometimes they may even be physically violent because they want to break this high caliber person down. They want to destroy it because they can't be anything like you. And it irritates them more than you will ever know. They can't stand it because it's you and not them. They hate normal functional people. Which is why they don't even belong in our society. Because they feel like shit around you. This person who is trying to develop and make things better. If they can't feel good around you, what hope have they got? None. Because they don't feel comfortable. And it's because you're a good, clean person. You have boundaries. You take good care of yourself. You maintain your discipline and self-control. So of course they expect you to go back down if they become aggressive. Because they already know that you're a far better person than they could have imagined in their mixed up heads. And it's why they expect you to cower away. As they menace, domineer and dismay. Which is why you need to show them that you do have a backbone and you're not afraid. Because that's typically what they're playing on when they do that. They recognize that you had a sheltered upbringing. You weren't exposed to too many damaging things as a child. But by that point these types of people had already been through the bringer. They're rough and ready. They're ready to go at any time. And it's because they're insecure. They hate themselves and they're looking for people to take it out on. And it's because their emotional needs were unfulfilled as a child. They never got the love they needed from their parents. Or they were told or they believed that it wasn't real. While you were able to receive it. And you may have had all of your parents' attention. So they're very jealous. They see that you're calm and composed. You're good, you've got what you need. But they never got that and they're never going to get it because they have a mental disorder. So they can't even receive it from the very people who can give them what they need. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.